Hey guys, it's Ozia and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be trying to increase the efficiency of this bioreactor. Currently I've added a couple more things, um, some bone meal and some seeds. That's in addition to our oak saplings we get from our automatic tree farm. And on this little scale we've got the efficiency of 300. So I think that was, if we just take the bone meal out, that's 180. And up here, okay. And we get 300. So we're going to try and increase that a little bit more. Um, one thing to note about this uh, setup is currently there's nine biogenerators uh, running off the supply from just one bioreactor. And oh, it has it to say this you can put more generators on there. I've stuck, ran out of time before I could put more. But anyway, those are making a total of 144 megajoules a tick in conjunction with the 160 plus the giant machine over there is doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to just create a small uh, little farm, uh, a carrot farm over here. And we're going to pump the carrot tent just to increase the fuel. So I think that's in the same line, yeah. Okay, do it, do it. I'm going to do a three by three. Um, I have already built the planter and harvester and I'm pretty sure you guys have already built one but uh, if you haven't go and check out one of my other videos of course okay um, do a planter and harvester okay so I've made some more redstone energy conduits so let's see if that'll reach um, No, I don't want to look at that. I shall put it there. Okay, one little bit more. I like that, excellent. Okay, so now we've got that. We want to put the harvester just above it. some piping okay, run down okay I'm gonna turn my phone to silent because I totally forgot again uh yeah fiber it'll do okay so stone piping down into the machine gonna use an insertion pipe because they're great okay so Run this redstone up to the harvester as well. <coughs> Sneeze. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Oh, okay, here comes another one. All right, all right, hold it, hold it. Okay, my head didn't explode. That's good. Okay, so both I'm getting power. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's just chuck some carrots in. Um, so chuck a few in. Okay. Make sure you fill these gaps just so you don't get. Uh, I think was it sixteen? Sixteen stacks of carrots. Because who needs sixteen stacks of carrots? Okay. So we got that. Uh, have I got? I got bone meal. I'm just gonna steal the bone meal from over here. Thank you very much. Um, one thing I did forget. Oh, these pots are going to get in the way. Maybe I should have built this off farm. Uh, uh, three blocks higher. Or one, one block higher, sorry. Okay, then. Okay. Then. Uh, iron pipe. Fine with that. Okay. So what will happen here is the carrots will come out of the harvester, go past the planter, if they fit in the planter they go in the planter, if not they'll carry on down into uh, the main system, now we'll go head straight towards the bioreactor, and that will increase the 
the efficiency of it. So let's just do that now anyway. Oh, I was going to test it, that's why I grabbed the bone mill, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just a little precaution here. Um, I did intend to have this uh, harvester collect the carrots, however, uh, sometimes harvesters will harvest things outside of their predicted range. So, this one over here could potentially harvest that over there, so uh, be wary of that. Um, so, I basically put a carrot into the green slot so it still goes in the same path. And it shall be okay. What am I stuck on? Okay, so this thing here um, will now have. We'll put in there. We'll have 300 or so efficiency. And we've got to add something else to the what this reactor. Something about the reactor is that you can only pipe liquids out of it from one side. Now it can be any side, but as soon as you choose one side, it's going to be only that side. So how this makes this interesting is that these liquid ducts can only hold a hundred millibuckets. Um, a tick. So if this thing produces as it is 300 millibuckets a tick, it's essentially doing 200 more than what it should. So you're probably wondering if we can only get 100 out, why should we try and make 300? The reason why you want to make 300 is because if you're making three times as much as it can output, then it only takes in uh, one third of the fuel so essentially um, all the saplings come through here two thirds of those will get voided and they won't go in here so what you can do is if you want more power just build another reactor and put it next to it and put another pipe out and then you will find out that uh, it will also benefit from the efficiency as well um, so and because you can basically get at least nine generators off one reactor, you're gonna make tons of power. So I got it. Have I got that redstone energy cell somewhere? There it is. Okay, it's already. Okay, I'm gonna break that just so I can show you how fast we get power out of the whole system. There we go. Like that. Okay. Let's get rid of these. Put them in back in later. Okay, so we're going to need a claw. Okay, yep. Uh, okay, up. Remember, uh, redstone energy cells can only accept 100 megajoules a tick on each side, so make sure if you're going to try and charge them fast, all sides. Okay, so. Fifty, sixty thousand megajoules already. So I don't know. I'm guessing this is probably doing about four hundred, five hundred megajoules a tick. Um, in fact, this farm rot right is getting so big that it's actually starting to wear down on my RAM. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit laggy. So hopefully next week I'll be able to upgrade my system and uh, help build a bigger and bigger thingy. So I'm going to add to these, uh, I'm going to add some more farms, increase the efficiency, and maybe next episode we're going to look into um, some uses for this massive amount of energy we're making here. So I think about until then, please uh, like, comment, and definitely subscribe. Subscribe would be awesome. Um, so until then, guys. Nah.